So for the colors of clay, you will need a ball of granite clay, a ball of blue clay, small, a little bit smaller than the granite clay, brown clay, about half size of the blue clay, and a little bit of black clay. And then the feathers, you don't have to use the same colors as I am going to use, but I'm using yellow, orange, blue, and green. So those are the colors of clay you need. And then for the tools, I'm going to just use the Sculpey 3 um, set of modeling tools. So it comes with a rolling pin and then these um, three double-sided tools. But if you don't have these, you could use um, a acrylic roller, a poly blade, a exacto knife, or a needle tool if you don't have those materials you can replace them with those so let's get started so first get your ball of granite clay and shape it into sort of a dome shape but into like a rounded triangle and then you flip it so it'll be flat and then you push it down a bit and then I'm going to use my rolling pin to flatten it get a ball tool like this and start making lots of dot. Once you've made a lot of dot marks, take a pointy tool like this or a needle tool and you want to poke a hole on the top of it. Get your ball of blue clay and Pinch one end so it will be pointy and you can roll it out too. So just roll one end out. So it should look like something like this. And you want to curve it a bit. So this is going to be the body of the peacock. And you just want to push it down a bit. And you want to push here because this is going to be the neck of the peacock and you want to roll it out and as you roll keep pushing here because it's going to be a neck and you don't want it to be a fat neck so just keep shaping it and um, squeezing it as you roll it once you've rolled it out and shaped it use a needle tool like this or a pointy tool like this so I'm going to use this pointy tool for the to poke a hole in the bottom to get your smaller pointy tool so I'm going to use this needle tool and you just want to poke it next to it poke the other side So now I'm going to add texture so it will look kind of like the fur and I like to use this end of the tool but you could use anything with a pointy end. You could use a pointy tool like this, you could use this or you could use like a blade, anything sharp. So you just want to get some sort of bladeish, something sharp thing and you just want to texture it and just keep texturing it and go down or for like the neck I go diagonally and then once you got go to the body um, start going down so it should look something like this so once you've textured it get a blade and cut off here so you can add the beak so get your black clay and roll it out. Get a blade and cut it into a triangle. Just get your peacock and attach the beak.
So now you want to make the little things on his head, like the little halos or something. So get black clay and roll it into a coil. I'll get a blade and cut it into three eager pieces. So now get some blue clay and roll it into a coil and cut it into three eager pieces. and roll them into balls so now you want to attach the little blue balls to the black coils now get your peacock and attach So now we are going to work on the feathers and this is kind of like a cane process. So pick the color of clay you want to be in the inside of the cane or the feather. So you want to roll it into a fat coil and then get the um, second color of clay you want to be in it and flatten down or roll it. wrap it around the coil now get your third color of clay and flat it down and then roll it so you just um, roll it and then flat in it um, roll it and wrap it around the coil. Cut the ends off. So, as you can see, it's sort of like a cane. And now you just want to cut how many pieces you want to pinch one end. Pinch one end and then you roll it out so keep doing this to each one and you have a bunch of feathers so once you've made a bunch of feathers and i've made 10 feathers you get your peacock and flip it around and just attach the feathers how you would like So now you want to make the legs and just get brown clay and roll it into a coil. Once you've rolled it into a coil, you want to cut two even long pieces. Roll it into a little bit thinner coil. So here are the pieces you have made so far. You've made the peacock, the two legs, and the rock. So now you just want to bake them for 275 degrees for around 15 minutes. And so this is like the clay pot and the like jewelry, like chaining magnet pot. I will put it into another pot. So this is pot one. So stay tuned for pot two. Bye!